In this problem, we have a graph with a scatter plot. And remember, a scatter plot is a bunch of points. And each point represents, well, often it's a person or some other entity. And then the y-axis is one thing about that person. And the x-axis is another thing about that person. In this case, it's the amount that this person spends on entertainment. So how much money they're spending on entertainment goes up and down the y-axis. And how many hours they work goes along the x-axis. And what you can see here is they've drawn in this line of best fit. And it seems to show that the more hours you work, the more money you spend on entertainment. And I guess that makes sense. If you work more, you probably have more money to spend. So maybe you spend more. In this particular problem, we're being asked to find residuals. And you know this line of best fit is supposed to be sort of a, a best guess about what the middle of this is. And we can use this line to predict values. So if we wanted to know about how much um, someone would spend on entertainment if they earned or if they had worked 14 hours, um, we'd guess it's right about here. And that would be a pretty good guess. The residual is the difference between this line of best fit, what we expect or predict that person um, to spend, and the actual amount. So you see some of them are above, some of them are below. So for any particular point, we can calculate the residual by just subtracting um, one from the other. Let me show you how it works in this in this particular problem. We have two points we want to look at, the person who worked 10 hours, so this one, and the person who worked 12 hours, so this one. You can see they're both below, so there's going to be a negative residual. So when we subtract um, the, uh, the, the point that we would predict from the actual, we're going to get a negative amount. And so what we need to do is find that um, actual or observed, as they call it, amount spent on entertainment. So that would be the y value of this point at 10 and this point at 12. And it's a little hard to read from the graph accurately. Luckily, they've provided us with this chart. So for this first part, all we have to do is take this value at 10 and write it in, 21.5. So 21.5 is how much the person who worked 10 hours spent on entertainment. For 12, it's 25. OK, so next we want to find the predicted amount. So we actually want to find this point right here where 10 hours crosses that line and where 12 hours crosses that line. And in this case, we don't have a chart. And it, it does look like it's going to be hard to read it accurately off the graph. But we have another way to figure out this number exactly. We have been given the equation of this line. So all I have to do is plug in my x values, my, my hours worked for x here and calculate it. So in the case of the first one, we would have y equals 0.5 times 10 plus 21.74. So that is 5 plus 21.74, which is 26.74. So the predicted amount would be $26.74. And for 12, we're going to have 0 0.5 times 12 uh, plus 21.74. And this is 6.5 times 12 is 6, so this is 27.74. OK, now we can just calculate the residual by subtracting. So I'm going to just take 21.5. I'm going to grab my calculator for this and subtract 26.74. And I get 5, a negative 524. And for the second one, I take 25 and I subtract 2774. And I get a negative 274. So that is how to calculate residuals from a scatter plot.